Today in SOLIDWORKS, I'm going to show you how to use a macro to resolve an issue. You can also use this to create features and do processes in your projects. This came up from a customer of ours who, for one reason or another in their assemblies, when they would bring them in, had toolbox items and hardware parts that came in suppress, as you can see here. And we all know how difficult this can be to open assemblies and sub-assemblies and go through the process of individually unsuppressing these things. So we're going to create a process that does that, and in doing so, a macro, so that on future assemblies, it can be run automatically. If you go to your Tools pull-down and go all the way down to the bottom where it says Macro, we're going to record. And what this does is it records the steps of the processes we're about to perform, and it packages them up so we can use them again without going through these steps each and every time. So we hit the record button and it starts in the background. It doesn't give you any kind of warning message, but it is running. So for this, to make sure that everything unsuppresses and comes into the assembly, we go to Tools, Component Selection, and there are a lot of options in here that we can use. For this, we're going to choose Advanced Select, and then we're going to grab this window for Categories. And the category that we are looking for is File Type and we're looking for file types that are equal to. And we're going to start with toolbox parts. So some of these are parts and some of these are fasteners. Then on the second line, there is an and or. So we're going to choose that and we're going to look for file type equal to. And just to make sure that we get everything, we're going to choose fastener. Now that it knows what to look for, it needs to know what to do. In category, what we want is component status. Again, we're going to choose equal to. Now there are some powerful tools in here, so we can choose not equal to, and there's a lot of different things that you can do, as you can see from the pull down menus. And then here we want to find, in those two categories, suppressed items. So then we choose apply, and right away it comes up. It will highlight the ones on the main tree that you see but it also highlights the ones that are stuck away in folders or in sub-assemblies that you can see in the folder here. When we right-click, and this is what you would normally do to unsuppress items, we'll choose Unsuppress, and there it goes, and everything is unsuppressed. All of the hardware items and all of the toolbox items. Now, if there is something that you wanted to be left suppressed, you would either need to find it in the tree and unclick it manually, or go back when you're done and re-click it. Now our macro is still running in the background, so we go to Tools, we go to Macro, and we choose Stop. This will bring up a screen where it wants to save the macro. So you want to create a file structure, especially for your company, where macros are going to be saved. And you'll want to create a structure where the name makes sense as to what they do. So this is just for an example, so I'm just going to put Toolbox, unsuppressed, and that's how I'm going to save it. So let's say we open up our assembly, and this time we'll have some different things suppressed. So I'm going to choose these, suppress them really quick, and I'm going to choose this folder, even though it was suppressed before. And again, this is to show you how it'll work. These items are not suppressed, these are, and so is this folder. This time, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Tools, Macro, and we choose Run. Now it's automatically going to where I've been saving my macros. You may have to navigate to this, but I just have it in my documents. And we called this one Toolbox Unsuppressed. So we'll choose that, and we hit Open, and it goes to work, and look at that, everything is unsuppressed. And that shows how easy it is to create a macro in SOLIDWORKS. And again, that process can be used for almost any kind of feature that you want to perform. If it's on a regular basis, then you should be able to do this. And as always, if you have any questions, give us a call at Graphics Systems and Tech Support. Mm -hmm.